Toledo goes to Bowling Green, and it's Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central Time, God's Time Zone, on ESPN2. And uh, let's see, Toledo is a 10-point favorite on the road with a total of 52 and a half. Let's pull up the numbers. Let's see what we got here. Uh, full season numbers would have Toledo by 12.44. That defense is awesome. The Bowling Green offense is not that great. I mean, they're they're okay. Number 89 PPA per drive. This predicted points added per drive. Uh, but the Toledo defense is number 18, and, and they're number 19 PPA per drive. The Bowling Green defense is what has really done big things for them. But yikes, because they're really good at stopping the pass, and Toledo likes to run the ball. They run it 60% of the time this year, and... I mean, they're number 24 in rushing success rate. Bowling Green's defense is number 109 in that metric. So, now this is for the full season. So, something to pay attention to. Um, Bowling Green is number one in the country in takeaways per game, but they also give it away a bunch. They're number 104 in giveaways per game, which is tied with Toledo. So, maybe you see some volatility here. I mean, it it wouldn't be a mat game if it wasn't volatile, uh, potentially, but regardless. So, let's look at the last four weeks. And in the last four weeks, Bowling Green's PPA margin is now number 16. They are number 19 PPA per drive on offense over the last four weeks. Uh, it's weird how things change when you only look at MAC play. And Toledo's offense has kind of dropped off a little bit. They're number 33 PPA per drive on offense. Um, but the Toledo defense is still fantastic. I mean, they're number 7 PPA per drive. So this is kind of strength on strength here. Um, the Toledo offense, number four, PPA per pass, but they only pass it like 40% of their offensive snaps. Toledo has not been as good running the ball lately. Number 94 PPA per rush. Well, Toledo, that, that ain't great. Bowling Green is number 97 PPA per rush. So that's something to pay attention to. Uh, as far as like points per scoring opportunity and stuff, Toledo's great at finishing drives. They're number eight in points per scoring opportunity, but Bowling Green's defense is number 28. So you start to look at like the five factors rank. Bowling Green has a raw five factors rank edge in this. They're number nine, and Toledo is number 12. Now, when you toss in talent rank, uh, yeah, Toledo is now number 23, and Bowling Green is number 40. I mean, Toledo's got a massive talent advantage here. Just huge. But this is a rivalry game, and this is going to be, you know, interesting. Uh, Toledo's strength of schedule is putrid. I mean, just terrible. Bowling Green's is different, but that's because, you know, Bowling Green has played uh, Michigan and Georgia Tech and whatnot. I, if I'm going to lean a certain way, you guys know I don't trust Toledo for nothing. So I'm going to take Bowling Green plus the 10 here. Uh, I don't feel great about it because Toledo has made me look foolish the last two weeks. But, um, but yeah, that's the way that I'm going to roll there. Bowling Green plus the 10. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.